Hello friends, do you like animals? I love them. Today, we're going to learn about farm animals. Come on, let's go to the farm. Look, here are the animals I found in this farm. A cow. Goat. Horse. Hen. Rooster. Duck. Goose. Sheep. Turkey. Donkey and rabbit. Now it's time to go to the forest. Let's go. Let's see what animals can we find out here at the forest. Look, it's a bear. Deer Moose Badger Lion Muskrat Beaver Skunk Tiger Owl Snake Porcupine That's all friends. Hope you like what we have learned today. See you all again for another interesting video. Bye! Hello friends. Today, we're gonna learn about the names of the seven continents of the world. Asia, Africa, Europe, Australia, North America, South America, and Antarctica. Here are the facts about seven continents. Asia is the world's largest continent of the continents in size and population. Asia covers one-third of the Earth's surface. It has 30% of world land area and 60% of population. It contains the world's largest country, Russia, and the world's populous countries, China and India. The continent is home to the highest peaks in the world. The Great Wall of China is the only man-made structure that can be seen from space. The majestic Taj Mahal is located in Agra in northern India. This Indian landmark is a mausoleum and is considered a prime example for Muslim art in India. Number of countries in Asia, 48. Africa is the second largest continent, the world's largest river, the Nile, and the world's largest desert, the Sahara, both home in Africa. The Great Pyramids of Giza, Egypt. These incredible African landmarks were constructed 4,500 years ago as a resting place for the Egyptian pharaohs. Found near the city of Cairo, the Giza pyramids are the only one of the ancient seven wonders of the world that remains almost unchanged since their construction. Number of countries in Africa, 54. Australia is the world's smallest continent and also known as an island continent as it is surrounded by water on all sides. The name Australia comes from the Latin word Australis meaning southern. Sydney Opera House is not only Australia's most famous landmark, this unique structure is one of the world's most instantly recognizable and iconic buildings. Number of countries in Australia, 3. 
Antarctica is not only the coldest place on Earth, but also the highest, driest, windiest, and emptiest. 75% of the world's ice and 70% of the Earth's fresh water is located in Antarctica. It is also called the White Continent or the Frozen Continent. Antarctica sees half a year of light and half a year of complete darkness. Summer months of December to February give 24 hours of light, while the winter months of late March to late September are pitch dark the whole year. Europe Europe and Asia are parts of the some major landmass. Europe is separated from Asia by the Ural Mountains and the Caspian Sea. The highest mountain in this continent is Mount Elbrus. The most famous landmark in Europe, Eiffel Tower in Paris, France, Colosseum in Rome, Italy, Leaning Tower of Pisa, Italy, number of countries in Euro 50. North America has five time zones and is the only continent with every type of climate. The largest freshwater lake, Lake Superior, and the third longest river, the Mississippi, is located in North America. The famous landmark in North America, the Statue of Liberty, is the most iconic landmark in North America. Lady Liberty has her own island within New York City. This copper statue was originally a gift to the United States from France. Number of countries in North America, 23. South America The largest river, the Amazon, and the highest waterfalls, the Angel Falls, is in South America. The major languages spoken in this continent are Portuguese and Spanish. The famous landmark in South America One of the famous landmarks in South America is the ancient site of Machu Picchu in Costco, Peru. This World Heritage Site is an impressive, inconsiderable nestle at the high altitude of 2,430 meters and set amongst the postcard-perfect Andes Mountains. Number of countries in South America, 12. That's all for Hi friends! Welcome to Learn Like Sanat! Today, we're going to travel to ancient Egypt to get to know the mysteries of the pyramids and mummies. But don't be scared because they don't do anything. As you already know, ancient Egypt believed in life after death. That's why they built the pyramid, which were the pharaoh's tombs. During the construction, there were thousands of workers for a very long time. Before, we believe that they were built by slaves, but thanks to the archaeologists' work, we know that they were built by citizens that work for salt, wheat, or barley. These workers were organized and directed by architects and engineers that made sure everything was calculated and done properly. Today, we see that pyramids are old, but when they had just been built, they were covered in beautiful white limestone, and the tip of the pyramid was golden. I'm pretty sure they were beautiful. Inside the pyramids, there are tunnels, chambers, and secret passageways. And this was where they left the pharaoh's mummified bodies. But, do you know what a mummy is? A mummy is a person's or animal's body that is kept after death because ancient Egypts believe in life after death. They wanted to preserve their bodies, but it was a very expensive process so only pharaohs and some noblemen were able to do it. The mummification process took 70 days. First, the body was washed and all its interior organs except the heart were removed. Then, the body was filled with linen and covered in salt for about 50 days. After this time, the body was wrapped in bandages and placed in a luxurious sarcophagus. Thanks to this mummification process, many mummies are in a perfect state today and have allowed us to learn so many things about ancient Egypt. Goodbye friends! Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe to learn like Sanat for more entertaining videos. Modes of Transportation Land Transportation Car Taxi 
van. School bus. Police car. Ambulance. Tow truck. Fire truck. Motorcycle. Bicycle. Train. Water transportation. Boat. Cruise ship. Yacht. Steamship Cargo ship Submarine Air transportation Aeroplane Helicopter Rocket Airship Hot Air Balloon Construction Trucks Rock Truck Bulldozer Crawler cream Forklift Road scraper Excavator Skid Steer Concrete Bump Dump truck Concrete mixer Action trucks Rock truck Bulldozer Crawler cream Forklift Road scraper Excavator Skid Steer Concrete Bump
dump truck. Concrete mixer. Hi friends, let's talk about the planets. Are you ready? Let's begin. Sun Moon Mercury Venus Earth Mars Jupiter Saturn Uranus and Neptune. Hello friends! Today, we are going with Sana to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, especially in Maka al Mukarama, because now they are in the great pilgrimage season in the sacred house of God. The Hajj is the fifth of the Muslim practices known as the Five Pillars of Islam. The Hajj is incumbent on Muslims who are able to make the pilgrimage. Once a Muslim is not able to do the pilgrimage himself, he can perform the Hajj by proxy. Muslims travel from all over the world to make the pilgrimage in the month of Hajj. Muslims start Hajj by intending to perform Hajj in a practice called Iran. After that, Muslims circle around the Holy Kaaba seven times and go from the Kaaba to hills known as Safa and Mara to walk between the seven times. On the eighth day of Dohija, Muslims go to Mina and stay overnight there. On the next day, they go to Arafat Mountain which is an obligation. Then, they stay overnight in Muzdalifa. Then comes the stoning of the Jamarat, the slaughter of the sacrificial animal, and the circumambulation of the Kaaba, and finally, the pilgrim breaks his ira. Muslims come from all over the world to make the pilgrimage. This practice makes them feel very close to Allah Almighty, so they repent to God and ask Him for forgiveness. Muslims from around the world travel to Mecca to do the pilgrimage every year. They circle Kaaba, which is Islam's most sacred site, and take part in a series of practices to bring more humility and unity among all Muslims. The Hajj is one of Islam's pillars. It is required of each Muslim at least once in a lifetime. Muslims seek to deepen their faith through the Hajj, they ask Allah to forgive them, especially when they are at Arafah mountain on the day of Arafah, so Allah forgives them by His great mercy. The journey of Hajj is a spiritual journey, when all Muslims gather in the same place without any differences between them, rich and poor, white and black, Arabic and foreign, they feel the greatness of the Islamic religion and the justice of God Almighty. Muslims come from all over the world to make the pilgrimage. This practice makes them feel very close to Allah Almighty, so they repent to God and ask Him for forgiveness. That's all for today, friends. See you in the next video. Bye!